Perfect. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. My name is John. We're in the weight room today. We're gonna to be talking about uh, safety pins on your squat rack. So a good thing about having a squat rack at your house is you can work out on your own, uh, your own time, your own uh, conditions. You don't have to worry about you know being in a public gym, having all the people around bothering you, taking all your weights, not having a squat rack available or the bar that you like or anything like that. So that's the good thing. The bad thing is if you work out on your own, you don't really have a spotter and it can be kind of dangerous if you've got a lot of weight on your back, if you've got a lot of weight on your chest, you know, it can fall on your neck, whatever. I'm sure you've all seen like YouTube or Instagram fail videos where people have like ditched weight and crushed their rack or they've gotten themselves like hemmed up in the Smith machine or whatever, uh, drop weight on their neck, bounce off their chest, all that sort of scary looking stuff. All that could have been avoided if they had just used the safety pins or the safety bars on the rack like they were designed to be used. And that's what we're going to talk about today, how to set them up to the right height to where you can work out by yourself without having to worry about getting stuck under the weight. There's a lot of different squat racks out there. They're not all made the same way. This is a pretty popular design. This is a Titan T3. So a lot of the Titan racks and the Rogue racks are going to be built this way and have the same kind of setup. Um, some of the other ones are going to be just a little bit different, but for the most part, they all have a rectangular or square upright with some form of hole in it where the bar either locks in and swings down or you have a safety pin that runs all the way through or you know like a strap that connects here connects on the back post and kind of sags in the middle right there it's all sort of the same thing but I have a Titan T3 so that's what I'm going to show you on anyway this rack has holes all the way down here these are one inch apart all the way to the bottom it gets to here and they're about two inches apart so what that's for is uh, like your bench press, right here, your bench press increments. That way you can get a good lift off on the front and the back or whatever. You can get it put like right where you want it. Another thing is for the safety pins. These pins right here, it's just a big pin that runs through this tube and goes to the back. If I can get it put back where it belongs. It runs all the way through and the tube is there just to strengthen the pin because if you drop weight or set weight on that pin it's probably going to bend so the tube is there just to give it some uh, rigidity but anyway these holes right here the top half are probably used for like bench i use the bottom half is where my pin set when i squat and bench right now i've got it set it up for uh squat when i do bench press it drops down to about here and um you know because when you're laying on the bench you're lower than when you're going to squat but anyway, when you set up the squat, what you want to do is have it set up to where the pin is, you know, an inch or two below the bar when you're at full depth on your squat. You know, you don't want to set it to where when you hit the bottom of the squat, you don't want it like this far because then you're going to have to roll the bar off your back and then you're going to have three, four hundred pounds slamming down on the bar. These aren't designed to catch a they will catch a falling bar but that's not not what they're designed for like if you're racking the weight and you miss and you drop the bar and you have to ditch it these will catch it and they'll i mean i guess you won't be hurt because you'll be falling out of the weight hopefully but what they're intended to be used for is to keep the weight from crushing you at the bottom so if you squat down in the bottom of your squat you see this is right below my shoulder where the bar would be sitting so all i have to do is drop down just a little bit more fall in the squat roll forward whatever <clears throat> and the bar would sit excuse, wires the bar would sit on the the safety pin it's not going to drop it's not going to slam you're just going to set it down gently on the pin and then crawl out from under the bar same thing on the bench press if you've got it you know the bar and you touch your chest right here you want the safety pin to be an inch or two uh, below the bar at you know your whatever your lowest bench press point is that way if you get stuck in it you can just kind of deflate your chest whatever roll the bar back and it should rest right above your neck that way 
you can turn your head to the side and kind of crawl out from under the bar or roll the bar over your head, something like that. So before you get started, kind of pick, before you get started lifting, pick a spot that you think would work, get under the bar, put you know 135 on it because it does do a little bit different with an empty bar versus a weighted bar. So put like 135 on it, squat down slowly because you don't want to, like I said, you don't want to slam it into the bar or the pin. Squat down slowly and see if the bar hits. Um, see if it touches the safety pin. If it does, drop the pin a little bit lower. If you get down to the bottom and you notice it's like way too low, pick it up a little bit. Just tweak it until you figure out what works best and what's going to be good for you. And then figure out how some way to remember what hole it was, mark it. I've got a little mark on here and back here. Um, one for bench, one for squat. That's what I go off of. So do that for squat. Do that for bench. The It's probably most important for bench because on a squat, like I said, if you get down to the bottom, worst case, you can roll the bar back off your back and you know shoot forward and you'll be fine. The rack and the weights probably won't be fine because you know steel weights aren't designed to be dropped from that high or dropped at all. If you got bumpers, different story, but especially on a bench because you're trapped between a loaded bar and a flat bench. Like there's no if the bar's on you, there's not really any good way to get out of that. Because I mean I guess you could like roll it forward, you've seen people, but it's it's not easy. It's not near as easy and safe as just setting it on the pin and crawling out from under it. And like I was saying before, the intended purpose of the pins is not to have the bar drop onto it. Like a, uh, when you fail a rep, you shouldn't just ditch it from the top or just slam it down from the top. You know, you should have enough left in you to lower the bar back down in a controlled manner, whether it be a squat or a bench or whatever, and set it on the pin. But, um, you know, if you do have some kind of catastrophic failure, you miss the you miss the pin while you rack and you're like super gassed and it's heavy, and you just miss and you can't recover and you have to ditch it it will catch the uh the bar if you're in a bench press and you miss the uh, the rack um you know your grip your grip messes up or you do like a weird bench with no thumb which i don't advise however your elbow gets broke whatever and the bar comes down it will probably hit your chest a little bit but like i said it's only going to go down a little and then it's going to land on those pins, which is a lot better than, you know, the bar stopping with your chest under it. Um, so you might feel it a little bit when it first hits, but it will catch on the pins if you have them set right. And you'll be fine after that. You can crawl out and, you know, you won't have a crushed windpipe or a crushed chest or whatever. So yeah, guys, having a squat rack at your house is a great thing. You can work it on your own. You can do your own thing if that's what you like. But please figure out how to use the safety pins and use them. Uh, figure out where to put them for squat and bench. Um, you don't really need them for deadlift or press or anything like that because you're outside the rack. You just set them down or whatever. You're not really in danger. But these two are probably the most dangerous ones to have weight on uh, when you're by yourself. So please, if you're going to work out by yourself, figure out. Uh, where you're going to put the safety pins and use them. Don't leave them at the bottom. That's not what they're for. They do have other purposes with lifting like pin squats or um, rack pulls, things like that. But if you're, that's a different story. If you're going to bench and squat inside the rack, please use the safety pins because um, you should never, you should hardly ever fail a rep or have something bad happen where you have to bail out or drop it. But you know, there's always that chance it could happen and you want to be ready you want to be prepared and you don't want to get hurt because uh, you know nobody likes being hurt you're not going to be strong if you can't lift because you're hurt so there's that thanks for watching we'll see y'all next time god bless